Let's do connections. We're finding four groups of four. Let's get started. So we've got a power drive. We've got Will Shorts. We've got a shoe series. A T fly. Got to have batteries for our sunglasses. And we got to set our radish desire array hat resolve. Okay. So what's going on here? Power. Power and battery. I don't know. Batteries produce power. Hmm. I don't really see anything else that would go with that. Okay. Um, radish is weird. Radish is really weird. So a lot of these are though, but like, I think maybe focusing on radish for us for a second might be fruitful. Radishes aren't fruits though, are they? Hmm. That joke almost worked. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I don't know. T, I mean, that's obviously it's a letter spelled out, but also it's like, isn't that a golf, like the golf T, the thing you put the golf ball on? Um, golf T, golf. I mean, T and drive are both just golfing words. I don't know if set is um, golf hat. I don't know. Could these, could these be different? I don't know. Different golf equipment? The driver, it would be the driver though. A drive is the, the verb. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna hold off on that because I'm not, I don't know enough about golf or it could be a red herring. Uh, sunglasses is interesting. I mean, we've got sunglasses, we've got hat, things that keep the sun out of your eyes. I don't know. You wear sunglasses, hat, and shorts. <laughs> These all just seem like things you would wear when it's a warm day out. Um, summer clothing, shoes. <laughs> A t-shirt? Okay, when it's a warm day out, you wear shorts, t-shirt, sunglasses, and hat. Summer gear. There we go. Okay. Resolve. Why is the only thing I can think of as DaVinci Resolve, the video editor I use? Anyway. Um, <laughs> I don't think that's what they're going for here. Like, to resolve. Like, what else would that mean? Uh, I guess, okay, resolve can be two things. You can resolve a situation, or you can have resolve, like, like you're... You resolve your desire, maybe? Uh, your will? Okay, this seems right. Your drive. Yeah, okay. So golf was a red herring. Intrinsic motivators. It's exactly what I said. Okay. So now we have the blue and the purple, which is unfortunate. But we still have radish here. Is it things that are red? Are we doing the strands from yesterday? Um, <laughs> radishes are more like purple, aren't they? I don't know. What color are radishes? They're radish colored. Uh, we tend to do... We do tend to name colors after fruits and vegetables so i don't know battery and array seems similar they're both and series yeah you can have like a battery of things that you go through an array of things you go through a series of things you go through in a set i think that's just like thing a, a collection yeah that's exactly what i was about to say collection radish fly power shoe this has to be a fill in the blank right i don't know i was thinking about rad <laughs> rad and fly being um being slang for someone who's cool um for shoe i can think of gum shoe and shoe lace i don't think either of, the, either of those work um shoe fly don't bother me uh i don't want the i don't want two days in a row to be i don't know what the last category is but it, it may be true today i don't know if i can i don't know if i can see it birds but all the letters have been changed to a different letter okay horse ah this is this is probably the third time I have failed to recognize that fly could be horsefly, in in connections only. Um, yeah, in connections only. I think this is the third time that I have not recognized that horsefly is a thing. Um, I, number four coming up soon, maybe. So we've got horsefly, horsepower, horse radish. Ah, uh, horse radish. Yeah, and then horseshoe. Of course, we had horseshoe as a clue in in yesterday's puzzle or the day before. Anyway, how'd you do? Let's do the mini crossword for April 6th. Before I get started, this might be a different puzzle for you if you're doing this in the evening. The Saturday puzzle is a shorter length. Uh, it's, a, it's a bigger puzzle, but it go it lasts for a shorter length because they publish the Sunday puzzles early. So you might be have the Sunday puzzle already. I apologize, you missed the Saturday puzzle. All right, let's get going. Defeat by a large margin. Um, ooh. I mean, I know what they're talking about, but I can't think what word it would be. So let's move on. Accident prone is clumsy. Painter Monet. 
Uh, what's Monet's first name? I can think of it as Leonardo, which is not correct. Uh, darn, I don't know. Ironic name of Ellie Wood's Chihuahua in Legally Blonde. Oh, I mean, I've seen Legally Blonde a couple times, but I don't remember the name of the Chihuahua. All right, track athlete. Runner, maybe? Try it. Double-edged sword. Intoxicating substance, sometimes called bud. Weed, I suppose? All right, one down. Totally out of energy. Um, I'm thinking like, uh, I don't know. I like the any, the ending. Everything looks right, but I can't think what this word would be. Let's move on. Stirred from slumber. Uh, woke, woke, wo wo woken. No, wait, hold on. <laughs> uh, I like the ed ending again. Stirred from slumber. Awakened. Uh, I don't know. Let's let's do three down. Opposite of over. Under. Okay. Intoxicating substance, sometimes called bud. Uh oh. So one of these is weed, and another one is another word for mar marijuana. Um. Uh oh. Okay. Well, let's let's look at these other downs. See if weed was correct. Polar bear. Cold cold swim. Plunge. Okay. Having a potty mouth. Um. I don't know. Something. Uh, trudge. No, not trudge. <laughs> Make as four down. Brew. Um. So. What are we brew? A beer, I suppose. Bud could be beer. Okay. Like Bud Budweiser. All right. Um, defeat by a large margin. Snub? No, not snub, right? SR doesn't make sense for the one down. And snub doesn't really mean defeat by a large margin. It means something else. Um, I hope I have everything right. Painter Monet. Claude. Now that I have letters. Claude Monet. Um, ironic name. I don't know. What's, what's, what's this? Is this Cludge? I like BL and CL. I don't think. Oh, clue. Wait, there's no G there. Clue. Having a potty mouth. Clued? I, I don't know that word. I hope. I think. Hope things are right. Let's look at one down again. Totally out of energy. Is it AINED? Like brained or something? I don't know. Oh, I don't think brained means out of energy. Drained. Drained means out of energy. Oh my gosh. Um, stirred from slumber. Roused, and then this is bruiser. So it was crudge, Cr crude. Oh, crude. <laughs> what am I? What am I doing? The word is crude. Okay. All right. Three thirty. Um, not bad. I took my time. Tried to understand the clues. I'm trying to. I'm trying to learn. And I feel like when I try to go quickly, I read the clues wrong, and I just some kind of stumble my way through it. I want to understand the clues better. So I'm trying to like really intentionally read them and understand them. Uh, I I didn't know drub was a word, much less meant defeat by a large margin. Drub. No, it's not ringing a bell. Excellent pronoun I got. Claude Monet. Just couldn't think of his first name until I had a few letters. Um, I did not remember that the Chihuahua was named Bruiser, but that's pretty funny. Uh, Runner was correct. Double-edged sword. Weed was correct. I think I had some of the letters that prevented it from being beer, but, or maybe I just got lucky and put weed. Um... Okay, so then one down, totally on energy, drained. I don't know why it took me so long to think of drained. Roused as well, pretty obvious. Opposite of over is under, and then beer was the other bud. Polar bear plunge, I think I got. Having a potty mouth crude, that's a little embarrassing. And then you brew beer. Okay, cool. Well, uh, that, was, that was fun today. How'd you do? Let's do strands for April 6th. <laughs> got the date wrong by a whole month yesterday. All right, and... Uh, after this, uh, feel free to watch my mini uh, in the description. I will tag my mini account, my New York Times mini. Uh, but let's do strands now. So today's theme is picture this. OK, picture this. So photography, maybe. I see photograph. Photography. Nice. Just instant spanogram. All right. 
Um, that should help. Um, so things you would need in photography is a, like a timer, a light, um, a shelf. <laughs> oh, what is this? A uh, flash, of course, flash and a lens. Okay. We've got, um, filter. Oh, come on. Filter, uh, a camera, <laughs> a tripod. Wow. Is that, is that a record for me? <laughs> That was that was a very fast solve. Spanagram first, not a single not a single extra word, just literally as if I already knew where everything was and just got them all. Okay. Well, I don't know if that was even good content. I literally just plonked every word perfectly. Um but yeah, I get I get easy today. I don't know. Uh the theme was a little bit too on the nose, maybe. And then photography was a little bit too easy to find because it was literally just like the first place I looked. Like where you're looking for pHs, so I don't know. Um, and uh, let me know how you did.